Welcome to your mid-month reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, to give you the messages that I receive for the next two to four weeks. Uh, for Virgo, we're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign. If Venus, uh, Virgo is your Venus sign, that would be for the love portion only. Now, right off the bat, I'm instantly getting this beautiful message of joy, laughter, positive, like cheerful energy. So I feel a lot of you are feeling a lift in your energy. I believe you've been going through a lot, a lot of struggles, a lot of burden has been on you. And I just feel like this energy shifted over like maybe the last uh, week, seven to 10 days, perhaps. Where now you're coming into the happy, joyful holiday season, no matter whether you celebrate Christmas or not, just really getting on board with people being everywhere and that uh, sense of humanitarian love, that kind of universal love that can be floating out there at the holiday time, right? So I feel that your energy is shifting. It's a beautiful energy. Now stay focused on that positive, joyful, uplifted energy. And I haven't had any other reading like that. So it's really lovely to feel this positive vibration. So what I'm going to do, and I don't know if that's for all of you or for a specific group, definitely meant to be heard. I'm going to pull a message from the angels. This is going to be for each and every one of you, and you're going to know how it applies in your life. And then I'll pull out the overall messages at the end, including oracle cards and romance angel cards. And I won't be doing a mid-month reading. I just, I don't have time. Now you have Aurora and somebody else had this as well. I think it was Aries, I'm not sure. So make sure you check out your moon and rising sign, right? Aurora, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So this is confirming what I'm saying, this, this happy, uplifted energy. And I just feel it's, um, mm, it's very positive. Like you really feel happy. Keep that up. I'm hearing keep that up. So this is absolutely going to apply to many of you right now. I have a feeling it's one consistent message. So let me pull the main messages out and I will look at a different group of you or follow the same theme, whatever comes, it comes. Okay, so yes, you're flying high, you're doing really well. And again, if you've got Aries in your chart somewhere, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it was Aries, um, or you were dealing with an Aries, maybe a business partner, a romantic partner, and definitely a soul connection. Mm -hmm. Somebody that may have triggered you into a journey of self-discovery, of transformation. So we have the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knights are about forward movement. This is about you getting on your horse and taking action to move forward toward what you're really passionate about. Wands are about taking action, and it is about getting your passion getting your your adventurous groove on because you're in this really high vibration. You may have been traveling or you're getting ready to travel and that's what's lifting your energy up for sure. Now, we have the 10 of swords. So you have been through a lot and it's really grown you as an individual Whoever this person was, again, I feel they have Aries, very strong. They could have been a player energy that kind of came in and took advantage of you. This may have been an employer that promised you a long-term opportunity, but turned around and played some trick on you, stabbing you in the back. 
you're gonna know how this resonates with you. The bottom line is this situation, this person hurt you very deeply. So it's been a lot of internal work to put yourself back into balance. The Six of Pentacles is being restored back into balance. Give and take is being, it's, it's coming to balance. So you were over giving to people, which I equally just did in, um, I think it was Scor Scorpio's, and that's my dog, he's playing downstairs. Scorpio's reading. You may have put a lot into a lot of relationships, just everything in life, and finally feeling a sense of internal healing, internal uh, peace and calm. And it could be the first time you may have just uh, felt this way since your children went to school. I know that's weird, but that's what I'm hearing. Whatever's going on, this healing, this new um, uplifted feeling is really beautiful energy. And it's going to lead you guys to a brand new opportunity. For some of you, this is a career opportunity that's going to increase your finances. But I don't see you. I see, I see that you find the job in the next two weeks but you may not hear from them for about a month, okay? But it's gonna come in and create this balance so the negative thinking has been a very difficult thing. You stay focused, you believe in what you don't physically see in front of you, you know without a doubt. Yeah, that's Captain Lovebug running up the stairs if you heard that. So let me pull some additional advice and I'm gonna keep going, but Mm, this is a very beautiful energy. For some of you, you are meeting somebody brand new. And I know you don't want to hear it, but for some of you, this is somebody that did hurt you in the past. This is a job. This is a boss. Uh, for some of you, this is an adult child where I see that they're in their 30s or 40s and they may have taken a lot of money from you. I see a sense of coming back around where they're gonna give you back the money. And that could be why you're flying high. This could have recently happened and now you're happy as can be. And now you feel that sense of balance back in you financially. This is all about pride, right? The ego about the ego saying, yeah, you hurt me, but I got my lessons, I learned my lessons. Now that doesn't mean that I'm gonna take you back. That doesn't mean I'm gonna do it all over again. It means I've learned my lesson, so I know how to do this in a way that's balanced for me. So if this is a family member, you're gonna be able to create a, a new, uh, like established boundary. And it's all because of personal growth within you. Like I said, you've learned the lessons from this overall experience. You've let go of the ego attached to it and you're like, you know what, this was their deal. They hurt me, I get it, but I know now. I know to look for the warning signs, any of those signals along the way. I know that when I give money to family, probably not gonna pay it back, <laughs> all right? So it's like really having this sense of restored hope and faith and balance in you that's making you feel absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna pull another card, okay? Because this is a very clear cut message. Now we have the King of Wands. So again, Aries. Leo Sagittarius, so you most definitely are dealing with fire. And this is about, fire is about moving forward. It's all about moving forward, taking control of what may have been feeling um, out of balance in your life. You finally coming to a place where you're no longer in and out. Your finances are steady. You're, uh, you're no longer late when you have an appointment, you're now on time. So this in and out player mentality is gone. You're really taking control of you and pulling the reins in and saying, I get it, yeah, I was hurt. Yeah, I learned all that lesson. Now I can create the way I want it, where I feel 
imbalance in everything I do, including relationships. So this is very beautiful energy and I really like this. And I'm gonna pull a romance angel card for you guys right now because some of you have a person coming back from the past, most definitely. And it's all about restoring balance. And when I say balance, I mean you deserve an apology. It doesn't mean you have to be with them because this could be family, friend, or romance. But on the romance side, we're going to definitely take a look. Now, if you like me, you like my style, please click subscribe uh, above and down below. And uh, you'll be notified whenever I post any readings. And if you would like to subscribe for the newsletter and be a part of my emailing list for future that's my dog. He's trying to come in. He likes to sit under my desk when I do readings, and I won't let him tonight because he's too hyper. So if you'd like to, uh, to subscribe for the newsletter, go to AscendingSoulsJourney.com. At the bottom, subscribe on the email. Subscribe, and you will be added. So you guys, romance angel card. Yeah. Getting to know each other. Beautiful message. Now, when it comes to a romantic situation, you know, with the seven, I mean, the ten of swords, this betrayal, you may have been so open and so feeling this beautiful connection to this person that you overgave. You gave them too much information about you. You told them your life story, things that that um, most of all, what I'm seeing is you gave them a form of trust. You did. They did not earn this trust. You just handed it to them. So for some of you, that's what I mean by over giving where it really uh, it may have even been an, an ego thing, but it was most definitely about growth, personal growth. As we get to know somebody, that's when we establish whether we want to trust them or not. And I did this, you know, you'd come up and it's like, I can see your soul. So I know if you're a good person or not a bad person based on that, but that wasn't the reality on the external person. So me trusting people didn't work out so well <laughs> where this happened because of that, because I saw who they really are but not who they were acting like, right? You may be picking up on that and you've learned your lessons. I need to get to know whoever it is. When it comes to a, a even in a career sector, getting to know the organization, look at the turnover in the particular position. There was one company I uh, saw that worked real, you know, it's real close to my, where I live. And I noticed this particular company was constantly advertising for three positions over and over again. And one was the accounting manager, one was a project manager, and then there was a third one. But they were constantly, the revolving door lets you know that there is something amiss, right? Something's not right. Either their HR staff doesn't know how to hire or they are not a very good company and people leave them. So as you're really getting to know the company as well as what company you keep, right? So this is beautiful energy for you guys and those of you who are getting to meet, getting ready to meet somebody new and I feel you're gonna meet them in the month of December. Somebody who's very charming, very alluring, you may even be captivated by, by the way they dress, by the whole ambiance of the person, by their fragrance, by the way they do their hair. Just like a form of being uh, uh, almost hypnotized by this person. Very charming, very charismatic, and they may be there to have you open your sacral chakra where you feel that adventurous, sensual, sexual part of you is gonna open back up again, where you feel high as a kite and that could be exactly what the whole message is about you're meeting somebody brand new somebody that lights your fire in every aspect of the meaning so get out there do not say no 
every invitation say yes because that person you're going to meet in a social environment. Have an amazing next two weeks. Thank you for watching and much love.